Sir, it's very good afternoon to all of you, all the respected panelists from various backgrounds. Uh, first of all, uh, before starting to the topic, I really feel uh, sorry for, uh, in a sense, a very great event like World Water Summit, World Renewable Summit, that is not giving a platform for the young peoples. Uh, maybe I may be representing all the uh, millions, no, uh, young peoples, but uh, on the platform, the voice of the general and youths are very important to take the issue forward. And all the adults, uh, resource person, experts coming from various backgrounds, uh, they are working uh, day and night, especially in various innovative ideas, technologies, whatever, as an entrepreneur. Uh, for the future of us, for the future of our general. But the men to be in forefront should be young people. And also, I'm really happy to see all the young audiences coming from various institutions and various countries. And it's an honor for me to be invited by the organizers to share some of my feelings to all of you. As you know, India is already the youngest nation, beating the China in today's global context. We have more than 600 billion people out of the 1.3 uh, billion uh, populations. And we have been facing various issues, right from human rights, education, poverty, sustainable resources, water management, and so on. But there is a gap between the, always between the, the policy makers, especially the government, and the people, the public. We are the peoples, the NGO leaders, the civil society representatives. We are the key actors in this world to bridge this gap between the government and the people. We can't only blame to the government also, or we can't neither blame to the innocent people, farmer, and all also. These are something, an issue, where we have to take forward with heart and soul for the future of our children and youth. So the my organization, International Youth Committee, we have been working for effective partnership with the young people with the principle of participation, harmonization, advocacy, and partnerships. We have been working for the last almost 14 years, and we have more than one million youth members and volunteers in across 176 countries. We have been working on various issues, mainly on the ground by our volunteers and members, especially in the tough time of drought, floods, and other various issues. We are also actively working on national disasters, especially on earthquakes and other issues happening time to time. And our main role of our youth members and volunteers is to give awareness and also to sensitize the government and other stakeholders. So this is the high time where the youth should come forward and contribute something to the nation in empowering the future generations and also to contribute something for the change in today's world. With this period, thank you so much.